fire has raised some shops at the Kumasi Asafu market a day after another fire guarded some part of the Kumasi Central Market. And Benjamin Yedu has a rest of the story. Not a good news here in Kumasi at all. In less than 72 hours, I mean in less than three days, we have recorded three fire outbreaks in two markets. People have lost their entire livelihood in this inferno. Over 200 of the shops have now turned into ashes. On Friday evening, part of the Kumasi Central Market was raised down by fire. Just yesterday, part of the Asafu Market was also affected by the fire outbreak. And just this evening, we are also witnessing another part of the market being guarded by fire. We've seen a number of traders trying to salvage some of their belongings. Some too were looking helpless because they've lost their entire livelihood. But the worrying situation here is that even though the firefighters are doing all that they can to douse the fire, access to the market is a challenge to them. They are unable to bring their vehicle inside the market to effectively fight the fire. So what they have done is that they've left their vehicle outside the market and they are pushing the pump where the fire is blazing to enable them to quench the fire. Unfortunately, the first two are under investigation. In just this evening, too, within the second place, it has also gone up. But we can't put our hand on anything, though we have we are seeing other things. To be honest with you, we are in, we've intensified fire education that we don't expect these things to happen three times in succession. One thing that we observed that was worrying is accessibility to the place. How challenging was this towards fighting the fire? Master, because of the tables that were so you realize that all the fire engines are outside the market and we are fighting from inside and do you know the worst aspect of, of it when we pull the horses around the tables the best are horses so can as i talk to you we've, we've brought about 10 more horses to support the best ones because once the tables are there as you try to pull the fire fire then the best so it's a challenge but when we are fighting fire we don't look at challenges we solve them and make sure that we bring the inferno down then we look at the next thing. So that's what we are currently doing now. But what would you recommend in our market? Because this is not the only market that has challenge with regards to accessibility. We believe it's an education for all of us that we should allow roles in the market so we can have access. Now everybody's trying to blame somebody. Then we don't have to blame, wait for the 11th hour before we blame. But what we need to do is that as the roads and columns or the roads are there, we should not put our tables and things there just to sell. Money is not everything. Our lives is more important than money. I have to be very blunt. It is not just an accident that we are, we are, we are witnessing those fires. It started with the central market, which we all thought that it was maybe an, an accident. That is why the fire has happened. Yesterday, too, a fire took place, and today. But now looking at the occurrences of it, everything is clear that it is and arson. People are behind it. So from here, I'm going to report to the regional minister, who is the head of the RESEC, that the team must be deployed immediately. That henceforth, you have to send security guards to be monitoring our market day in and day out. And from 6 o'clock going, people should, everybody should leave the market until further notice. I'm sending the warning to all those who have perpetuating this fire, we are not going to tolerate them. We are not going to tolerate them. When we are all planning to develop the kingdom and to develop the city, it has now become clear that we have saboteurs, people who want to sabotage the effort of the government. One thing we also observed was that the fire personnel had a difficult task in accessing the market. All these markets are old markets, which we know there has been a lot of encroachment. That is the reason why the past government and our government have put up the effort of getting Kumasi a modernized market. So there is no need for traders 
to be putting up structures to block roads. If you block road, if you block access roads, it means that you are preventing the fire service to move in when there's an eventuality. Now look at the way they struggle in getting access to the police. That was the Kumasi mayor, Osei Esibe. He is saying that this is not an accident, but a suspected arson. So henceforth, they will be deploying security men to patrol the market. And from 6 p.m., everybody must leave the market until further notice. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3, Kumasi.